consumer help at NBCUNI.com, NBCUNI.com, or call 212-664-5607. Well, New Yorkers now that you know you can order about anything you want, delivered to your door, and in this new online age, there is a website that's trying to make it easier for local businesses to bring their offerings to your home. Here to tell us about Delivery.com is the company's CEO, Jed Kleckner. Jed, welcome. Thank you. So what was the inspiration for Delivery.com? Well, it, it, it's really to provide a, a voice uh, for merchants on a local level um, that don't necessarily have presence online. Yeah. How does it work exactly? From a consumer perspective, uh, you simply go to the website or uh, the mobile application that we provide uh, uh -huh. access to. Uh, you type in our URL um, or access it from the application and you search by way of a address and zip code. And any merchants that are available within that de delivery zone are available for you based on their hours of operation. Plus so you put your address in yep. where you want to deliver it and automatically all the merchants in there selling anything who are signed up with you pop up. That's right. Uh, you know, Traditionally we've focused on restaurants, uh -huh. uh, but we are quickly moving into other categories as well, grocers and, and other types of local merchants. Give me an example of, of a merchant who has profited by signing up with your business. Sure. Here in New York, uh, Village Farm, for example, it's in East Village on 2nd Avenue. We've been uh, in partnership with them for roughly about three years now. Mm -hmm. uh, they've seen about $3 million worth of product purchased through the site. And on an ongoing basis, we send them any, anywhere upwards of 1,000 orders per month. And as a percentage of their business, how much is that? I, it's a significant part of their business. I mean, yeah. I'd obviously prefer to let them speak to that, but yeah. um, uh, I would say it's definitely been significant yeah. um, for some time for them. And where do you make your profit? Is it you charge a delivery fee to the customer? No, to the customer, there's uh, no additional fee from our side. What we do is basically we, we look to a merchant uh, who needs some type of online presence. We mm -hmm. put all of their inventory on our website uh, for free. And to the extent that we drive additional business to the, to the merchant, we take it as a commission from the, uh, the value of the uh, purchase from the consumer. Now, this notion, I think, is, has been tried before without much success. There was Urban Fetch and there was, there was Cosmo. How do you differ from those two websites? Yes. Well, so a couple of things. That was, you know, uh, a decade ago, if, mm -hmm. if, if, um, if, I'm, if I have it correct. And a couple of things. One is that the, the consumer wasn't necessarily, I think, uh, as accustomed to purchasing online. Mm -hmm. Secondly, those businesses were uh, integrating the fulfillment component of the business. We, we strictly serve as an intermediary between consumers and merchants on a local level, mm -hmm. and we allow the merchant or their delivery partner to handle the last mile of bringing the products from the merchant to the oh, consumer. So you have no delivery at all? The, the, the merchant does that? You That's right. The merchant does yeah. it, or we can help them by way uh, of our network of partners uh, that, uh, that offer delivery. And what are the demographics of your users? Uh, generally, it's going to be, we're, we're present, obviously, our, our largest presence is, is in New York with about 3,000 merchants, uh -huh. uh, and our demographic is generally the 18 to 40-year-old consumer, uh, and it's pretty balanced uh, between male and female. And you've streamlined charitable giving as well? We have. In fact, uh, we've already kicked off a program with City Harvest, for example, where uh, over the past uh, couple of months we've uh, driven about $10,000 in donation from our consumers uh, mm -hmm. to uh, that organization and are planning to work with others. All right, Chuck Kleckner. Thanks for coming and sharing the wisdom with us. Thank you, Chuck. And the good news about the website. Coming up